After an exciting start to my arrival in Japan a week ago, I entered a strict 15-day quarantine period where I am monitored by the Japanese government four times a day because of the recent completion of the Tokyo Olympics and Japanese borders being closed to most foreigners. I'm able to rent this brand new high-end Tokyo apartment for less than $50 a night. So what is life actually like while in quarantine in Japan as a newly arrived foreigner? And why did I choose to move from America to Japan right now? But I want to start by thanking all of you for your support as I made this move across the world. The positive and supportive messages that I've gotten in my YouTube comments, on Facebook and Instagram have meant so much to me. Thank you to all of those who have reached out. You have no idea how much it means to me as I build this YouTube channel on Japanese culture and mental health. I am so happy to be back in Japan. So currently, I'm in week one of a 15-day quarantine period. To ensure that I follow the rules, I had to download three different apps. One of them checks in with me four times a day. This app uses artificial intelligence to check locations and backgrounds. This is to prevent people from simply leaving their phones in their rooms and wandering around places like Tokyo. But there is an upside to there being such strict public health rules. It means there is a surplus of nice apartments and hotel rooms for rent at a fraction of the price. Let me take you on a tour of the place. So here I put on Google Translate for us, and it's gonna help us kind of look at what these different buttons mean. So the first one here we have, if I can get it, stop. This actually says in Japanese, oshiri. Tipton means but. I don't know what this word tipton means. It actually said but earlier. Of course we have our bidet right here. I love this button. It's the massage button option for cleaning your butt or whatever. The next one is cleaning. So this is nozzle cleaning. Here we have the wash strength or cleaning strength. So from level one, the lowest to level six, which is the highest. Here we have cleaning position from previous to rear. Toilet seat temperature from low to high. This is warm water temperature, toilet seat temperature. Here we have power saving. And of course we have power supply. So what is daily life like in Japan right now while in quarantine? For me, it consists of online teaching, lots of Japanese TV, exercising like morning yoga, getting food delivered, Japanese study, and journaling.
So why did I choose to come to Japan? Even though I lived here previously for four years and consider it my second home, I didn't really envision coming back here to live. But like it has been for so many people around the world, the last two years have been particularly challenging as COVID-19 spreads around the world. In the summer of 2018, I just finished my PhD program at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA. The university then offered me a job to teach social sciences within a program they had in Nanjing, China. I thought, yeah, why not? I have always wanted to live in China and study the language and culture. So I moved there and began my new job. Then in January of 2020, I went to Boston during the Chinese New Year to do some research at Harvard School of Public Health. Long story short, I wasn't allowed to return to China. I lost everything I owned there and needed to find a new job. And luckily, I ended up getting offered a postdoctoral research fellowship position at Harvard Medical School, doing research on injury prevention and mental health. During this time, I was also applying for assistant professor jobs around the US in places like California and Florida. With over 30 applications sent out, I did not get one interview. I followed up with several universities and they all said the same thing. They are getting over 500 applications per job. With there being too many people with PhDs and universities cutting many assistant professor jobs because of COVID and instead hiring part-time adjuncts to save money, it is nearly impossible to get a professor job in America. The state of higher education in the US is a mess. So I just felt like it was time to leave the country and start somewhere new. I felt also burnt out after the research position and job search. I knew that I needed to make a move to somewhere where I could get more opportunity, a place where I could be respected as an educator and also have a very high quality of life. Previously, I lived in Japan and learned a lot about the language and culture. So when I got a job offer to teach in Okinawa, Japan, the Hawaii of Japan, I knew I needed to take it. To be moving to one of the friendliest, healthiest, and beautiful places in the world sounds like a pretty good plan. So a change of environment allows me to start living again. Break my old routine and refresh my batteries. And I am so excited to be back in the classroom teaching students. Everything now is about simplicity and living life, focusing on my mental health. When given the opportunity to move to Okinawa, I knew it was time to pack my bag. I hope you can come along with me in this journey week by week as I share with you fun, interesting, and educational aspects of Japanese life.